At the annual general meeting to present the annual report and financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2019 to their shareholders, the bank reported that its underlying operating income increased by 20% year on year to 853.0 million cities from 712.9 million cities in 2018. This percentage growth is the highest for the past five years. The bank also reported that operating income increased by 20% to 853 million cities from the 2018 reported position. Operating expenses also increased by 15% from 286.3 million cities in 2018 to 329.0 million cities in 2019 as a result of increased spending on investment in technology and marketing activities to help drive the business and general price movements. The bank says its impairment provision declined by a percentage point from 100.8 million cities to 99.9 million cities on the back of strong recovery strategies adopted, whilst operating profits before tax was 424.2 million cities, a 30% improvement over prior year. Commenting on the 2019 result, board chairman Dr. Emmanuel Kuma said the bank declared a dividend of 1 CD 56 per US per share to shareholders for the year 2019. He says the bank is well positioned to move against the odds for success in 2020. Although we recommended the non-payment of dividend in the annual report, we have subsequently obtained approval from the Bank of Ghana to do otherwise. The board is therefore recommending a dividend payout of 1.56 Ghana CDs per share. This represents a 50% increase on what we paid for 2018. Clearly, the bank made great stride in 2019, despite the challenging external environment. 2020, however, presents a different set of challenges following the impact of the pandemic on us, our clients, and our business. I believe that your bank is well positioned to take advantage of these unique opportunities. Also speaking at the AGM, the Chief Executive Officer of Standard Chartered Bank, Mansanetti, assured of the bank's total support to clients amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. It has impacted businesses, our clients, and our communities. As a bank whose purpose is to drive commerce and prosperity through our unique diversity, our priority as this pandemic continues to unfold is to support our clients, employees, and our communities through these challenging times. 